All right, it's that time of the year again. It's time to replace my Corsi Rosenthal box filters. We have several animals, so this is what the filters are looking like right now. For reference, this is what I'm gonna be changing it out to. Using a simple box cutter, I'm gonna remove all of the tape from the fan and get my cardboard pieces back. And then I have some reusable 3D printed linkages here. Next, I'm gonna blow any dust out and then clean the back of the fan. Now that all the hair is off of this from the dogs, I'm going to wipe this down with 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol wipes. All right, now it's looking pretty good. Next, we're gonna wanna find those airflow directions on our filters, and we're gonna make sure that they're pointing inwards. So for me, this is gonna be the orientation where the pleats are gonna be inside. This isn't gonna be universal for all filters, so really you wanna find those arrows right here that say the direction of the airflow that goes through the filters. That's how you're gonna do this up. And then I made some 3D printed linkages because I don't like, like guessing about the angle. I want it to be right first time. So I take the first one and then it locks into the sides here. So I just set that up and then you hear a little click popped into place. So that's holding it together. You can do the same thing at the bottom. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom, click that in. And then I have some side linkages that just make it extra secure so that we don't um, undo our good work. Put one up top, one in the middle, one on the bottom. And then this is going to make sure that we are uh, open at that nice 45 degree angle for everything. And then I have my pre-cut cardboard that was actually from the box that I got the uh, fan in and I just slide it under here and then I'll tape the edges. Just one strip on each side and then I can flip it over and do the same thing. All right, now it's nice and secure and I can then attach it to the back of the fan. For this part, you wanna make sure it's completely lined up with the bottom, with the sides, and then you wanna make sure that the cord is draped out so that you don't accidentally tape that in. And then next, we wanna make sure we seal off all of these corners. Two cross tapes will do that very efficiently. So what I mean by that is do a diagonal and then just do cover that last little gap like that. And then you'll need at least three pieces of tape to cover around the cord. Plug it in. And there's our Corsi Rosenthal box with a prism setup.